What is up, YouTube? It's Kingfisher745, and we're back with another Deadpool special. This time, our Team Spotlight theme team is going to be Deadpool is Magic. Many other team names went through my mind on this one, but we settled with a fact, I think. Baron Deadpool was another thought, and the reason for that, of course, is because we're teaming him up with Baron Mordo. For our agent setup, we're going to use our typical PvP setup, but it works. It's going to be the Dark Energy Blade, Techno Organic Endoskeleton, the Oni Breaker for Sacred and Damage Reduction, and then the Lantern of Doom. The reason we're using Lantern of Doom is pretty simple. It's going to be a quick action because of Sacred, but along with this team it has some magic dots and causes Bane to all the enemies. So Bane is going to be pretty key here, and having that as an AoE is hard to beat. First of all, it's going to go perfectly with Baron Mordo, who for now, we're going to give you the ISO 8 setup as it stands. It's going to be 2 steady, and the rest powerful. Correction, 3 steady. He is a magic user, so maybe you don't even want steady. Maybe you think he's going to hit fine. Also, you may want some stamina. I've personally been reassessing my characters as well, so I have been making some changes. But for this episode, we are going with the explosive for extra damage and the resonant for some small HP gain. Then we have Sorceress on his level 1, the Gracious on his level 2, so that will give stamina back to the entire team. We have Cooperative on his level 6, and the Thorned on his level 9. So there you have it, that's going to be our setup for Baron Mordo. Our agent's using the Bruiser Safeguard Suit and the Elite E-ISO. So pretty simple there. But why is Deadpool magic? Well, you're about to find out. On the Merc with the Mouth, we're using his default costume. Then we have an odd build. We tried Mercurial, even a Joint, which we actually end up changing for Robust. So actually, let me give you my current setup for him. It's going to be 1 Forceful, 3 Steady, 2 Bulky, and 2 Robust. Next is going to be key. We're using the Savory Empowered ISO 8. You could also go with this Spicy instead, but I found I like this one best. And the Magic ISO. That would be the Mystical E ISO 8, so his attacks are now also Magic. You'll see that in the video itself. But he's going to have the Hemorrhaging on his level 1, so it'll cause immediate bleed damage. Then on his bang bang bang, we have the bursting to deal with shields, the knocking on his level 6, and powerful on his level 9. There's a lot more that you can do with them, but we're going to go with that for now. The main thing for this spotlight is the mystical. The first enemy team we're going to be facing is Enchantress and Pestilence Beast. And so we're going to start with the Smothering Shadow. Like I pointed out, this is going to dot them up and place an AoE Bane. Bane means characters inflicted with that effect take 50% more damage from magic attacks and effects. So it's a pretty solid start, but unfortunately Enchantress is going next. And she'll use quick reflexes, followed by alluring voice, charm, and she still gets to use two magic missiles. Which she focuses on Baron Mordo. It's pretty crazy, but it is what it is. Oh, and Deadpool has the right idea. He hit her with the nerf bat. Pretty smart. Now after Baron Mordo takes all that dot damage, he's going to go ahead and use Sinister Summoning as a quick action. This also causes collateral damage to proc. And that's going to be all the setup he needs. His level 1 is going to be a big knockout blow. If you are wondering how, it's because that level 1 has the Sorceress A ISO and is stealthy. Other than that, Baron Mordo is just a beast. So on Deadpool's turn, we'll use Close the Gap, then begin with a Bang Bang Bang. He'll follow it up with his sharp pointy things, so that means he has OP and Emba. It's not the perfect order in which to attack, however, it's going to make No Holds Barred pretty much ready to go on his second turn. Let me just say, No Holds Barred being a magic attack, and the enemies having Bane, it actually is a very large damage attack as well. So we may not make it to his level 9, but 
he'll still do some really good damage. As for my agent, he's more of a support character, so we'll just use Alluring Light. And that's going to be about it for this extra turn. So there goes a shield and a heal. And he's stunned after that. So now on Baron Mordo's turn, we're going to go phased. Not that we really needed to. But it is another benefit that Baron Mordo has. Then we'll go ahead and fire his level 1. But we'll use that on the enemy agent. I have to admit, it's kind of looking like a Baron Mordo highlight film. But the team up with Deadpool, I think is a pretty good one. He'll have his moment. Next up, Beast tries to attack Baron. He misses and gets hit with wine on the forums. Then again he's going to get hit with that. So unfortunately we're not ready for that level 9, but we will use No Holds Bard next. And like I said, it's going to be pretty solid. So we'll unleash that. Oh and by the way, here you can see Melee Magic. And all of his attacks now have magic added. So on to that level 6. Here we go, it does very nice damage plus the follow up. Leaves Beast at only 1200 HP. So we'll go ahead and use Improbability Field. And it's either let him die from dots. Or let Baron Mordo have another knockout. I'm obviously going to go for the damage. So we'll use the Bolts of Balthak. And it does a 9k crit. Ending the fight. So like I said a very fun team. Definitely able to win. And we'll try them out in another match before we end this video. So this time we're facing Victor Mancha and Pestilence Beast. Having two enemy infiltrators is going to be pretty nice for Deadpool, who of course is a scrapper. He's going to begin, and we didn't really need close the gap, but we used that. Then our level 2, bang bang bang. It's just beneficial, like I said, to get Imba and OP out of the way, so you can go right to his level 6, and then ultimately his level 9. So I am pretty pleased with the attacks and of course the hemorrhage right away. Because of the hemorrhaging A-ISO. Then Baron Mordo once again is going to use Primed and Ready. His quick action level 6. And we will use that on the enemy agent. So here's our setup move. Then of course our level 1. And we're hoping it puts him down. Well it gets really close. Major damage, but he gets an extra turn. And with that, he's going to use the GG prototype. For hitting us, he'll take some bleeds. Then he's going to get hit with some lead hacking. And Deadpool ends up countering, finishing him off. So a very nice start to this one, and we pretty much have it won. But we want to end it in style. So, we'll set up that AoE Bane with the Smothering Shadow. Then Deadpool is going to use his level 6 on Pestilence Beast. We're definitely figuring for a level 9, happy to see you finish. And we're going to use that on the Horseman. Well, he's going to apparently use Momentary Advantage, but he is stunned. And then he misses his next attack. So, we'll go into Astral Phase. Not really necessary, but then we're going to use our level 1 on Victor Mancha. We're going to save Pestilence Beast for Deadpool. Mancha may be annoying with his Resurrects, but if we have to, we'll use Deadpool on him as well. Our next main target's definitely going to be Beast. Okay, well Victor's going to use Magnet Man, and it's going to trigger some Chain Lightning Static Charge. It also causes a counter, but unfortunately he is immune to bleed. My agent will use the Alluring Light, and then we'll attack Mancha with our Dark Energy Blade. We're just going to accumulate some damage on him. Plus, let's see if we get a follow up from it. So here goes the first attack. And that's going to be it for now. So with Deadpool, we're going to use Happy to See You. And it does some very nice damage. It certainly isn't what it used to be, but it's still a nice attack. Fortunately for us, Baron Mordo can almost equal it. And he does it with a lot less setup. And that's going to be the way this ends. So I want to thank you all for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for now, but until next time, good luck, and take care.